you think you have seen it all when it comes to innovation. Think again. In this video, we will show you 10 outstanding achievements by Africans, revolutionary inventions, brilliant ideas, and raw talent that demands respect. Let's dive in. Number 1. Richard Torere, Lion Lights. Let's head to Kenya, where a young boy came up with a brilliant way to keep lions away. Richard Torere was only nine years old when he started herding his family cows near Nairobi. But every night, lions attacked their enclosure, sometimes killing up to three cows per week. One day, he noticed something interesting. Lions are afraid of moving lights, like flashlights. At just 11 years old, with no technical training, he built a system using what he had, an old battery, a small solar panel, some motorcycle indicators, and few LEDs. He called it Lion Lights, blinking lights installed around the livestock enclosure, making it seem like someone is walking around. And guess what? It worked. No more lion attacks. His invention quickly spread. Today, over 2,300 farms in Kenya, as well as in Tanzania, Botswana, India, and even Argentina use lion lights to protect their animals. Richard has received many international awards for his invention and in his speeches, he often shares this inspiring message. Even without money, you can change things with logic, observations, and a little imagination. Number 2. Arthur Zang, Cardiopath. Next up, Cameroon. Meet Arthur Zang, a visionary engineer who wanted to help people to take care of their hearts, even far from hospitals. In Cameroon, many people live in rural areas with no cardiologist nearby. Heart disease is the leading cause of death. Yet there were only about 50 cardiologists in the whole country. In 2009, Still a student, Arthur decided to act. He invented a special tablet called the Cardiopad. This device allows a nurse in a remote village to perform an electrocardiogram, ECG, and send the result to a cardiologist in the city. The doctor read the data and sent back a diagnosis within 30 minutes. The best part, no internet needed, just a SIM card and a battery. Thanks to the cardiopad, patients no longer have to travel hundreds of kilometers to see a specialist. Now, healthcare comes to them, even in the most remote villages. Acho Zang received multiple global awards for his invention. He proved that innovation can save lives and that technology can beat the rhythm of the human heart. 3. Roy Alela Sign IO Smart Gloves. Now back to Kenya for a moving and emotional story. Here is Roy Alela, a young engineer with an idea that came straight from the heart. It all started with his six year old niece, who was born deaf. She used sign language to communicate, but no one in the family understood her. So even though she was surrounded by love, she lived in silence. Roy couldn't accept that. So he got to work and created Sign IO, smart gloves that translate sign language into spoken words. Each glove has sensors on the fingers that detect movement, bangs, and gesture. Thanks to a Bluetooth app, the signs are instantly translated into spoken voice in real time. The result is amazing. 93% accuracy, a customizable voice, and most importantly, a real human connection. And because Roy wanted kids to feel proud wearing them, he gave the gloves fun, superhero and princess design. If kids love what they wear, they will want to use it, he says. And that's when the magic begins. Today, his gloves have been tested in schools across Kenya, where they are probably changing lives for students and teachers. Roy Alela shows us that we a bit of tech and a lot of love, we can make the world more inclusive, one gesture at a time. Kelvin Doe, FM radio station. Meet Kelvin Doe, a young inventor who started with almost nothing. No electricity at home, no internet, no tools. But at just 13 years old, he began collecting electronic waste from the streets of Freetown. With old wire, dead batteries, and broken motors, he managed to build 
batteries, a generator, and even an FM radio station for his neighborhood. He became known as GJ Focus. Why that name? Because he stayed focused on his dream, bringing electricity and a voice where there was none. His homemade radio broadcasted music, news, and positive messages. Using a handmade microphone and improvised equipment, he became a voice for his community and an inspiration for his entire country. His work soon caught the world's attention. At 16, he was invited at the MET in the United States, a historic achievement. He also spoke at Harvard. Ted Steen and received the Presidential Medal for Sierra Leone. Today, Kevin leads Cardo Tech, installs solar power solutions in villages, and trains young people in innovation. He proves that you can start with nothing, and when you believe in your dream, you can light up an entire nation. 5. William Kakwamba, Electricity He was just 14 years old, and he had nothing. No electricity, no school, no clear future. But he had an idea. William Kakwamba, a teenager from Malawi, grew up in a village hit hard by drought and famine. Crops failed, family went hungry, and every evening the village was plunged into darkness. No electricity. Kicked out of school because his family couldn't pay, William refused to give up. He started going to the small local library. And one day, he stumbled upon an old physics book. A diagram caught his eye, how to build a windmill. He didn't understand much English, but he understood the drawings. And he understood one thing, wind can make electricity. So he began scavenging scrap. He picked up rusty bicycle parts, broken pipes, fan blades, anything he could find. People in his village thought he was crazy, but he kept going, alone every single day until it worked. One bulb light up, then another one. The windmill turned, the radio played. The wind had brought light to the village. Thanks to his invention, his family could now charge a phone, listen to the news, and pump water to irrigate their fields. This simple idea, born in a pink shack, would change his life forever. William was invited to speak around the world, and later studied at a top university. Netflix even made a movie about his story. The boy who harnessed the wind. It all began with an old book, some scraps made up, and an incredible will to never give up. This young boy turned the wind to change his future and the future of his entire village. <laughs> 6. Oluyinka Olutoye Surgical Breakthrough In 2016, in Texas, a Nigerian surgeon named Dr. Oluyinka Olutoye made medical history. Along with his colleague, Dr. Darrell Kass, he attended a surgery that seemed almost impossible on a baby who hadn't even been born yet. The baby, a little girl, was just 23 weeks old in a womb. She had a rare tumor called a sacracome gene located at the base of her spine. Tumor was growing rapidly, stealing blood from her body and putting dangerous brain on her tiny heart. The doctor had only one option, operate on the fetus during pregnancy. So that day, while the baby's heart was still beating, the surgical team led by Dr. Olotuye opened the uterus, partially delivered by the baby, removed the tumor and then placed her back inside the womb so she could continue to grow. A high risk operation, extreme precision, 21 specialists involved, and against all odds, it works. A few months later, at 36 weeks, the baby was born a second time, completely healthy. Her name is Lin Lei, and today, she's growing up like any other child. Dr. Olutuye proved that the womb can become an operating room, a scientific breakthrough, a victory for life. Born twice, that's how the world will remember her. 7. Nzambi Mate, Eco-Friendly Bridge Meet Nzambi Mate, a Kenyan engineer who found a brilliant way to turn plastic waste into eco-friendly paving bricks. Every day at her company in Nairobi, a city that produces more than 500 tons of plastic waste daily, she collects discarded plastic 
from landfills and factory. She developed an ingenious process, sorting the plastics, shredding and mixing it with sand, heating the mixture, pressing it into colorful, durable, 100% recycled paving bricks. These bricks are twice as strong as concrete, can withstand heavy load and are used for sidewalks, parking lots, roads and industrial areas. Our factory produces up to 1,500 bricks per day and has already recycled more than 20 tons of plastic. Our goal, reduce plastic pollution, make recycling accessible to everyone and soon build an entire house out of recycled plastic. Each square meter paved removes up to 7 tons of plastic from environment. This is what real innovation looks like. This is how we take action for the planet. Felix Kiyomuendo, Portable Ultrasound. Here is an invention that saves life even before birth. Felix, a young Uganda innovator, is a co-founder of MScan, a startup that created a portable ultrasound device, specially designed for rural areas. It all started with a harsh reality. Every year, Thousands of pregnant women died in Africa due to a lack of basic medical equipment like ultrasound machines. In many villages, health centers have no machines, electricity, and no specialist. To solve this, Phillips and her team developed MScan, a small device that connects to a smartphone. Lightweight, fast, affordable, and it works even without electricity. With this innovation, Midwives can quickly detect complications such as abnormal fetal positions and others, helping to save both mother and child. Already used in several hospital and health centers in Uganda, MScan has earned Phyllis multiple international awards. Phyllis shows us that a simple probe and a phone can become a lifeline for thousands of mothers. 9. Henri Nyakarundi, the mobile solar kiosk. Meet Henri, a Rwanda innovator who believes that entrepreneurship is a powerful tool to fight poverty. He created the Shiriki Hub, a mobile solar kiosk on three wheels, powered by affordable solar panels. These kiosks allow people, even in a remote village, to charge their phone, access low-cost internet, sell or use digital services. It's more than just a charging station. It's a multifunctional kiosk, water resistant, easy to move, and completely powered by the sun. Henri also set up a social franchise model. Each kiosk is managed by a local young entrepreneur. They receive training and a ready to use kiosk, allowing them to earn a sustainable income. As soon, he planned to add more services, including integrated printers and photocopiers to better serve local community. Today, these kiosks are already operating in Rwanda and Burundi. His goal, to deploy hundreds of them, train more entrepreneurs, and connect Africa using solar energy. A simple and local idea, but we have vision big enough to transform a whole continent. 10. Mohamed Ba, the desert refrigerator. This is the story of a man who drew on traditional African knowledge to change the lives of thousands of rural families. In Northern Nigeria, when the Saharan heat is unforgiving, Mohamed Ba Aba invented something revolutionary. Using simple clay pots, he created the Desert Refrigerator, a clever pot-in-pot -pot system, a small pot placed inside a larger one with wet sand packed between the two. The evaporation of water keeps vegetables fresh for several days without electricity. Thanks to this idea, farmers can store their crops longer instead of selling them quickly at the low price. Mohamed personally founded the first 5,000 units, trained local artisans, revived tradition pottery, and today his invention is used across several West African countries. A perfect example of African genius. Simple, useful, and deeply human. And here it is, 
you've discovered 10 amazing inventions and achievements by Africans. Of course, this list is not exhaustive. There are many more African innovators and geniuses. Who knows, in a future video, we might get the chance to discover even more of them. Take care and see you next time for a new video. Ciao.